And ahoy hoy everybody, the Atomic Weasel right back at you on a blistering day in paradise. The sun is shining, there's barely a cloud in sight, and I'm off to work. So the summer here in New Zealand has been absolutely cracking. Uh, while I've been travelling around, I've been seeing a lot more a lot more motorbike riders than I usually do, which is a good sign. New Zealand roads are, uh, are fairly good, well maintained. And uh, if you've got a dual purpose bike like mine, you can pretty much go anywhere, which is great. Uh, with a population of only, you know, four and a half to five million, we, uh, we are with the same size as the, uh, in area, as the British Isles, with only four million people. So we've got plenty of room to move around here. And summertime, absolutely cracking but as I said uh, there's a lot more car drivers car drivers, bike riders out and about while I'm riding which is a great sign and I think everybody, no matter where you are what you're doing should get out and about on the bike it's a great way to travel and it's a great way to see the country um, you bring it back a notch um, you get out of the cage and you're not sitting in the uh, the air con, air con completely oblivious to what's going on around you you're actually part of the journey you can feel the wind um, you can hear the noises of the countryside you can smell the smells and one of the reasons I absolutely love riding my bike so everybody it doesn't matter where you are whether you're in North America, Europe, Asia, Africa or down under Jump on two wheels. You can pick up a motor scooter for very, very cheap here in New Zealand. If it's under 49cc, you can run it on a car license. Motorbike licenses are fairly easy to get, and it's a great hobby. And you meet lovely, lovely people. Some of the nicest people I've met uh, have been on motorbikes. In New Zealand, there's a great motorcycle community. And uh, it's, a, it's a great way to save money too. It's cheaper on fuel. But if you are going to ride a motorcycle, can you please, please, please wear riding gear? Um, not like this squid. Oh, he's even got sandals on. Oh dear. Yeah, don't don't ride like him. Ride a scooter, but wear a bit more protective. Can you imagine what's going to happen to him if he falls off? Oof. Anyway, that's enough. I'll catch you in the other video, everybody. Like, comment, and subscribe. Big thumbs up if you can. Comment if you want to. It all helps out. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.